Welcome back to another torch review. I have a couple of Nightcore torches in today, and these were sent in via Nightcore for review. We have the EC22 and the M. T22C. These are both rated to 1000 lumens and they both have the rotary switch on the side so it makes sense to look at them together um, side by side. We can see that the specs are exactly the same in terms of the LED used and the candela distance throw with the torch so it, we'll put these together just to see if there are any differences but we shouldn't expect any now looking at the body you can see a fairly standard design but you have the flat edges around the top near the head and there is the rotary switch this has a click position so there is a click position when you fully turn to anti-clockwise and it's about a, just under three quarter turn turning this around and on the bottom of this one you'll see that there's just a flat area and there's a couple of holes there for the wrist strap Moving in closer on this switch, it's um, quite nicely made, it's made of metal and the centre isn't a button, that's just part of the design. You also have quite a bit of knurling on it as well, so it's fairly uh, easy to turn even though it does have quite a bit of resistance. So if we remove the head, you can see there's a contact point here, flat top cells do work in this particular model. And we take off the base cap, there's the spring, nicely greased up on the threads and they're square cut as well. Now, using batteries with this, I have a high drain one here. You don't need to use one of those. Any normal, uh, decent quality 18650 would do, just for testing purposes. But um, with this particular one, yes, the flat tops are fine. At least I found with the ones that I had. And you can see, just turning to the clockwise position increases the power. So this is fully variable power on this torch. And then you just click fully to the left to turn it off. There is no strobe on this particular model, the EC22 just has the variable power output on it. Other items included, you get the clip and two spare O-rings. And this is the wrist strap and holster. Pretty standard for a Nightcore holster, it does have a lining on the inside, a waterproof lining, large Velcro patch. And you have the plastic buckle on the back and uh, just pull open the Velcro. And you also have under that the belt loop. Happy enough with the Nightcore holsters, I find them quite good for the slimline holsters. Now with the clip, I would personally prefer a slightly longer clip on this model, although it's okay. You can put it in two positions on the EC22. It holds in place firmly enough, there's enough pressure on it. I just would have perhaps preferred a slightly deeper clip. And as the holster is custom made for this torch, it fits in even with the clip in place plenty of grip once you close it because you have that long velcro section so that's the bundle on the ec22 let's look at the mt22c this is very similar in terms of design but you have the tactical ring and this has a thread so that you can screw it and lock it in place so it won't rotate around i prefer that myself to the loose rings and you've the same design on the switch but you also have a tail cap switch with this with the dovetail so you can uh, there's going to be some slight differences in terms of the operation you'll see there's a hole there for the loop uh, for the wrist strap or you can put it on the tail cap and here's the spring on the base there now you can take the tactical ring off if you want you'll see the threads there where it locks into place and I'll just show you the torch with the base cap on so you can see that it doesn't really interfere if you don't want to put the tactical ring on and unscrew the head on this You'll see there's one difference, there is a contact point on the inside which I will just show you now. And this means that you can't use flat top cells unless you use a spacer. So that's something to bear in mind with this model. So you see that line there which is a raised point. So you need to use a button top cell with that. Same bundle with this but you do get a spare cover for the switch. And you also get the same clip and wrist strap that's with the EC22. Now the custom design on this one is slightly bigger with the holster. Same thing as the other one though, you have the Velcro patch on the back and another belt loop that's sewn in behind that. Some people prefer to have the quick access and some people like to loop it through the sewn in section. Now with the clip on this you have again two choice positions, although the uh, tactical ring means that you'll have to position it around sometimes just to get it to fit better so it doesn't stick out too much. Again, I would personally prefer a slightly longer clip. It's probably the only grumble that I have with these torches and I just prefer a deeper carry clip on them. But even with the tactical ring and clip in place, a bit more pressure required but it fits into the holster, no problems at all. 
just give you a quick comparison side by side with the holes as you can see with the EC22 going to be a bit slimmer in terms of the design it's also a touch shorter than the MT22C so really down to taste on this particular one uh, there's not a huge size difference I put the size dimensions on the screen for you and they're using exactly the same LED XPL HD V6 and they've got a smooth reflector but it's quite a shallow reflector it's not that deep so these don't have huge range on them now the operation with the MT22C is a little bit different so if you fully rotate it to the left of the click then you get the strobe mode and then you just ramp down the power by rotating it clockwise so it's the opposite direction to the EC22 don't see a problem with that myself because you can have a couple of advantages with this you can memorize the mode that you've set for the power level and it will go back onto that and you can also if you lock it into the strobe position have the instant strobe as well so there's a couple of points there which might be useful for some users Otherwise, the EC22, if you don't need the strobe mode, offers a slightly smaller footprint. So that's why I decided to look at these together, is because they're basically the same uh, LED reflector and design, but you do have the differences with the MT22C. So it really comes down to if you want the strobe function or if you want the momentary on and the mode memory. I don't see the differences as huge myself, but I do quite like the uh, tactical ring on the MT22C. It's a quick water resistance test, didn't have any issues with these at all. And I put the manuals on screen briefly, very simple user interface on these, so there isn't that much to see. So I'll show the EC22 first, and there's your um, operation part, and then I'll show the operation on the MT22C, which is just slightly different due to the strobe mode and the direction of the uh, rotary switch. As far as the beam pattern on these, basically the same, and the tint was also pretty much identical. So we start off with the EC22, and I'm gradually ramping up from the lowest power level, trying to do it quite slowly and smoothly. There's quite a bit of resistance on the rotary switch which is good because you don't want that to move accidentally and I can't see any issues with this activating by accident so you shouldn't have any problems with that now I'm going to go to the MT22C and drop that down slowly its power levels so you can select any of the power levels you want throughout the range which is quite useful I have to admit it's something I do quite like it's different and it's also quite practical just a quick shot showing you the strobe on the MT22C. So quite a fast strobe. I'm just going to show you the Nightcore Concept one. Quite a cool beam pattern on this and you can see a bit more power. So the both of these torches have more of an everyday type beam pattern more spread out with a larger hotspot in the middle. So we run through the usual beam shot tests and we'll come back at the end.
have to admit, I quite enjoyed using these two torches. I do like the variable power output and the differences in design will appeal to different users. Both have an everyday type beam, so not a huge range, but the 1000 lumens puts out enough power for most users. Now there are much better implementation on the rotary switch design than the imminent torch that I looked at a while back. That didn't really work for me. It was way too easy to change and it didn't really go low enough. I did like the tint on that, but these are a much more practical solution if you want a variable power torch there's no sign of PWM a couple of small points with the MT22C the strobe engages just slightly before the click when you're turning it anti-clockwise so I might have adjusted that and perhaps would have liked a slightly longer clip on that that probably would have involved the redesign of the body but I think they're a nice little torch for an everyday pocket torch you don't have any built-in charging on these but they're nicely made and that variable power output works very well so give me some feedback on this let me know what you think of this type of design and I'll see you in the next one